<sighs> Welcome back, fam. Um, it's been a minute. I start every video like this, but just as you were going through your rebirth, so am I. Um, I actually literally saw myself in a birthing canal the other day, and I was like, oh, this makes perfect sense. This is exactly how I feel. The mother, okay, Mother Earth right now is pushing me and creating this diamond, which is beautiful, right? This beautiful baby is about to come out. But there is so much pain involved right now because it's literally, it's just purging. It's purging everything that I used to be out so I can really reincarnate as this beautiful butterfly. And while I'm so grateful for it, baby, it has not come without a lot of pain. Um, and I don't think it's authentic to show up on this app every week and not be doing my due diligence and shadow work. Um, and I just don't want to be that kind of spiritual galley who just gets online and tells you all about the collective energy while I'm in one of the most, you know, transformative periods of my life. Um, you know, when I'm going through shadow work, I literally get bloated. I start freaking out. Like I have a little zit on my pe my cheek right now. Um, I start breaking out. I start, you know, getting in my head a lot. I'm pacing back and forth in my house. You know, I'm creating so many scenarios and like, I can't come forward and give you a, a, an honest video. So that's why I've been a little MIA, okay? No bad blood candle lit no love loss but i am in like one of the most beautiful places now i can feel myself coming out of it i can feel myself coming up it just is taking a minute to really integrate so i appreciate y'all who do watch my videos and who are just patient with me um i really appreciate it one second channeling some kind of song today i've been channeling that i've been channeling a lot on love um so if you are coming into you know love and union with yourself i really have been getting this message that december is going to be significant um that could be union with yourself or union with another person but december i keep channeling christmas music and that to me just feels so significant because i'm not really a christmas person so it felt like a message. Maybe it's a message just for me. Maybe that's a message for um, someone else. Sorry, y'all. It's like shaky. Oh, being on camera. I really feel called to talk to my collective right now, but I do want to address the Palestine stuff. I do want to address the throat chakra and how it relates to Palestine. And I do want to, you know, tie that into this Scorpionic season that we're in. Um, sidereally, I believe that we are actually in Virgo still. Right now we're moving through a very karmic time and karmically what we are being exposed to is our old timelines and old stories that we continue to believe to be true as in the present and the present is really trying to get you to see with that Aries energy that you are really capable of more of better of independent inquiry um, and of
balancing out the energy of overextension into selfish and selfishness, selflessness. This energy that we are moving out of has been very karmic because this is in relationship. Spirit is saying we have always been taught and told that we have to be a certain way for someone else. And because of that, that has caused us to abandon ourselves to be for someone or something else. And that is even on a greater scale, thinking that we are being social justice warriors for someone else. Okay, like Ukraine is coming to mind. BLM is coming to mind. Um, trying to fight for something without ridding yourself of your own internalized matrix is causing more strife, okay? You cannot fight for someone else until you have come into union and understanding with God why you are fighting. Otherwise, you will only be affected in the time that it is affected. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so I think that there's a lot of um, injustice, obviously, that's occurring right now. And there's a lot of anger that's being pushed forward. But it's not coming from genuine places. It's coming from confusion, which is why it's pushing aside instead of understanding the actual genocide that is occurring, that has been occurring from generation to generation, from the time that Jesus has walked on earth. This is, it's, it's a, a funnel of repetitive information that needs to be ridded out of our systems internally so we can actually stand on something solid. So the foundation right now is being completely rocked. And it's not even a calling out spirit. It's more of a calling in. So everyone is being asked to go within right now to clean out, okay, clean out this programming, this conditioning that has told you who you are, who you should be rooting for, who you should listen to. Like it, it's not everything external should be considered deception until you have incepted yourself, okay? Accepted the self. And so what is happening in Palestine will only be understood from truth and the true ones who have gone so far within their shadow in the last few years that their ego doesn't have a say. It's God speaking through you now. Okay, so that is why the throat is being so actively highlighted and this Libran energy because Libras don't normally speak from a space of authority. They speak from a space of passivity. Okay, and passivity comes from, I want everyone to be happy, when in fact, if everyone is happy, no one really is. You know what I mean? Um, so that's what's really coming through. Um, okay, Spirit said put the cards down. We're not ready for them yet. Um, so yeah, I want that to be very highlighted right now. I want you to realize that we are only, up, like, it's like, head is showing but we still maybe have an hour okay which in with the, this timeline that we're in an hour could be days it could be a month it could be two we're, we're getting close but there's still some residual shit that's happening that's keeping the baby from coming out fully okay so right now is not a time to really be focused on the external pain it's a time to focus on pain because it's kind of a sense of urgency what you've been avoiding for so long needs to be seen and dealt with so we can really get to the bottom of this so we can really see you shine okay and that's what venus is really teaching us it, it wasn't really you know trying to just put you out it was really just trying to show you how you continue to rush things when you haven't really set up a solid showing you how you continue to overvalue others before you value yourself. It was teaching you how you still choose to try to be an adult before really healing the inner child. We have a responsibility to ourselves. And that's, that's the lesson here. We have a responsibility to ourselves.
and not to our the corporate company we work for, not to you know the the the, the, the nine to five. It's not to the, this material made world that you think was made for you. Like it's it's a responsibility to make a world that you want to be in, not participate in a world that controls you. You know what I mean? And this is why like. When people say like you create your reality, that's what they mean. Like, what world do you want to participate in? And that's how you start your day. It's like create your day around that energy. I want to start my day with a, a food in kalashe and some eggs. Okay, the first thing I'm doing is getting my mental right. I'm gonna meditate. I'm gonna sit at my altar with my ancestors, and then I'm gonna go to the donut shop and I'm gonna get that food in. Okay, and then I'm gonna come home, and then I'm going to start my day from there. Maybe that today looks like studying my a new language, okay? And maybe today that's an hour of study and then an hour of play followed by, you know, reading a new book that I just found. That is like how you are creating your day because that is creating knowledge. When you have knowledge around something that you enjoy, how can you then turn that into something that someone else might enjoy, but they don't like it packaged in that way. They like it packaged in the way that you do it or you present it because you really took the time to create that, you now have this to give. That's literally what we are in right now. We are learning how to implement the creative reality into a structure or a form to pass off to others in service to humanity, okay? That is literally Saturn and Pisces. It's the dream meeting the material and making a baby that is so, necessary and it's so personal that it inspires other people in humanity to dream and that's what spirit wants from you so you may have been saying for the longest time like i want to write a film or i want to write this book or i want to graduate and finish this dissertation or i want to have my own shop so spirit is just getting all the elements okay ready for you implement them into a structural position so it will be accepted widely by an audience that is waiting on you but you are what is necessary okay so right now spirit is really talking about getting your stroke right because it's not only what you speak to it's what you write it's what you communicate as okay your voice if it is blocked if your throat chakra is blocked you're not going to be able to really get out the message that spirit has for you. So spirit may be having you sing. You may not even be good at singing, but spirit is just having you you sing right now because singing is what is necessary to get your energy um, open enough. And then one day you're going to be singing some song and you're going to be like, whoa, that did not really sound like me. But it did because you finally are getting what's under the gunk, what's under the suppression, what's under the sadness, what's under, you know, the fear, all of it is coming out to be heard. And that is like the role of your throat. It is to be heard. So this is where we're at right now. We're really moving through a lot of throat energy. We were moving before through our heart energy. It has moved up, okay? And it's going to keep moving up as we get closer and closer to that March, spring equinox. Um, that's when we're going to hit our crown, okay? We're going to move through that third eye into the crown and really understand the dream and then bring it back down to that Mars energy when we hit Aries season, okay? Which is going to be all about bringing it into the material, okay? So what I really am put, putting out there too right now is like, don't rush the dream. The dream really needs to be might have received a, a little piece of this dream in the third season that we're in right now. And this is actually getting you prepared to start, okay? But it won't be materialized or finished for a few months to a year from now. So it's like, don't rush it. Just allow yourself to be in this energy while you prepare, okay? To implement, to integrate, to get. Um, Go ahead and pray right now. Mm. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, God. God, I ask.
lesson. You are just an instrument. You allow me to play. You allow me to integrate your message to the collective one-on-one direct to all the collective I use or I ask that you use me as a catalyst for your word. I ask that you bring us closer together through tears, through laughter, through um, understanding that what we are doing together is um, a greater good. It is a greater service. It's a greater understanding for what and who you are for us and understanding that we are you too. All of it. You're universal. We're interconnected. And it is through your word that we truly inspire and we truly get to love each other. And we are so grateful for that. We are so grateful for you. And I am so grateful to be leading for the collective. such a powerful time right now like i just keep hearing that like we're in such a powerful time right now and i don't want you to be fearful or sad about what you are um witnessing because what you are witnessing is actually freedom even though there's casualties and even though there's death um we are really witnessing the jubilee Jubilee, I just started it. I'm nowhere near finished, so I don't want to speak to it um, fully, but I went to the festival, as you guys know, in June, and there was a tent or a stage called Jubilee, and then I was driving home the other day, and I saw this billboard, and it said the Austin Jubilee, and I just was like, that word, just what the fuck does Jubilee mean? I need to look it up, and um, I saw it again somewhere. I don't even, oh, this girl was talking about A lot of messages and please, thank you, so thank you, please would be significant for you or please take your life path for me. Um, but this is what I want to talk about because I just think it's really important. But Jubilee um, means especially uh, a celebrated anniversary, specifically the 50th, a celebration of such an anniversary, a season or a scriptures a year of rest to be observed by the Israelites every 50th year during which slaves were to be set free. Alienated property, property restored to the former owners and the lands left until a year during which plenary indulgence may be obtained by the performance of certain pious acts. Among the ancient Jews according to the law in Lex XXP a semi-centennial epoch of general restoration many times have I been talking about trumpets, y'all? In the Roman Catholic Church, the year of which remission from the penal consequences of sin is granted by the church to be repent and perform certain acts. Y'all. Now I need to look at this. Palestine is the birthplace of Judaism and Christianity and has been controlled by many kingdoms and power, including ancient Egypt, ancient Israel, and Judah, the Persian Empire, Alexander the Great, and his successors, the Hasmoneans, the Roman Empire, the Solomon's and the Calibites, and the Crusades. In modern times, the area was ruled by the Ottoman Empire. Then the British Empire in seven.
probably 75 years ago in 1948. So I need to get this story straight. But why do I feel like there is a celebration we're preparing for? What is happening right now is actually way bigger. I need to get these dates figured out. And I'm going to do this today after I get off this fucking um, video. But we are about to be rejoicing. Okay, We are about to, 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 to be glad about you're about to be freed of something. And I think that's why there are so many um, messages out there that are trying to get us as a collective to feel down and to feel sick and to feel um, rejected and, and just 